Welcome back to DBL. TikTok isn't just for kids anymore. Earlier, Tori sat down with Granny Koi Bundy in today's DBL Spotlight. Granny Koi Bundy, welcome to DBL. You have just taken TikTok over. I wanted to know, were you at all intimidated to join this app that's made for Gen Z? Cause like, I don't know what I'm doing. It was fun until I danced. When I danced, then everything kind of changed a little bit. Yeah. Because then you have to show your whole body. Oh. And yeah, I never showed my entire body, even on Facebook after I had my last kid. Wow. And. When I did it, it was like empowering. That's incredible that dance can sometimes do that, but how awesome as a silver lining to all of this amazing success that you got to feel empowered by your gorgeous body, bravo. Um, your Dance to the Savage remix by Megan Thee Stallion and Beyonce blew up. It's been shared millions of times. Sassy, moody, hey, nasty, hey, yeah. Hacking, stupid, what was happening? What does it feel like to go viral? Well, you know, it was, it, it's amazing that people out there, that they love this eccentric woman from <laughs> Des Moines. Like, <laughs> you know, it's, it's insane that, you know, so many people embraced me mm. and accepted me for exactly who I was. And then when Tina Knowles, Miss Tina, mm -hmm. when she posted me on her page doing the remix with Beyonce, oh my gosh, I cried. I of course. literally cried. Oh my God, it's Miss Tina. Of course you cry. Of course you cry. <laughs> we all would. That's enormous. So you back to I'm a savage. All right, moving on to sort of a more serious topic here. A lot of gang violence actually started in your city due to cyberbullying. How did that inspire? you to help kids on TikTok, your own and any other kids that are out there? Well, so my son and his cousins, um, they all hung around each other and he had a best friend who grew up with the family and the best friend had got shot on Thanksgiving a right. few years ago in front of my son. Oh. And that's when I decided that I wanted to change the outcome of the children. I wanted to provide them with positive role models positive reinforcement, letting them know that being in the gra the granny love gang mm. is better than being in any gang in the streets. And due to that, I set my tone on my, on my page and my platforms that no negative comments oh. are okay. You know, I either address them or I delete them. We talk a lot on the show, to be super honest, about social media and how wonderful it is. We're on social media as part of our show, but we also do see a lot of truly awful things on social media that can lead to what we're seeing in higher suicide rates and, and mental health issues with teenagers. So, wow, you're such, a, I just wanna be part of the granny love gang. Can, can I be part of that? Am I in it? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> she said yes. Awesome. Okay. I wanted to know what your kids think of your TikTok fame. So my my oldest son is 24 years old and he feels like he's famous himself. You know, he's always trying to clout chase with me, you know. Um, the 22 year old, my assistant, he's like socially awkward. Nice. So he's happy, but He's not too happy. <laughs> and the one that just turned 16 years old today, he doesn't care at all about it. He, unless it makes money, he <laughs> has nothing to say about it. <laughs> I just want to say in a world in which it, I get a tummy ache every morning, thank you for being you, for making us smile. Uh, thank you so much for stopping mm -hmm. by. You guys have to check out her TikTok videos. Follow her at Granny Koi Bundy. Again, best part of my day right now. We'll be right back. Thanks again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.